New AirPods, a new Sonos IKEA Bluetooth speaker, more evidence of Sonos headphones, Sonos optimizing sound quality, and the run up to Black Friday. It's going to be another big one. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds. Welcome back to another episode of SHS News where we bring you all the latest goings on in the audiovisual industry and an inside look at what we're getting up to at SHS HQ. In this episode, we've got some interesting Sonos updates for you guys, including some new exciting rumors. We're gonna be taking a look at some new products and much more, so let's get stuck in. So let's kick things off with some Sonos updates then. So first things first, Protocol reported that Sonos recently filed a patent application, which seems to show they're looking at ways to optimize audio on their speakers using Wi-Fi. The patent titled Systems and Methods for State Detection via Wireless Radios shows that Sonos have carried out some tests, which found that certain Wi-Fi signals can be negatively affected by water. From the application, it appears Sonos want to use these findings to enable Sonos speakers to detect the presence of a human, as we are made up of 60% water. And then what it will do is automatically adjust the audio characteristics based on where that human is in relation to the speaker, making them always remain in the acoustic sweet spot. Of course, we know by now that these sorts of patent applications can fail to turn into anything, um, but it's very interesting that Sonos have been testing this technology, and I would be very intrigued to see if they take this any further. Comment down below your thoughts on this testing. Could this be the new TruePlay tuning? Okay, so obviously if you are a regular viewer of our channel, then you can't have missed that Sonos recently released an upgraded version of their Sonos Beam soundbar, the Beam Gen 2. For those who might have missed our recent videos, this new model now features support for Dolby Atmos, an enhanced center channel and upgraded design, and to be honest, has really impressed us and has taken a huge step towards the Sonos Arc in our opinion. I won't go on much more about it as we've got plenty of videos you can check out if you're interested in finding out more on the Beam Gen 2, which I'll link below for you, but this is proving to be an exciting new product launch from Sonos. Now, back to the rumors then, and yes, we are back talking about Sonos headphones. However, there has been a new update in our rumor mill, which has reignited our interest in this. I mentioned in a previous episode of SHS News that there had been an FCC filing, which seemed to show designs for both in-ear and over-ear headphones from Sonos. To add to that further, Forbes recently reported that Sonos has acquired a controlling stake in RHA Audio, a British headphones manufacturer. This documentation was published on Company House on the 26th of October, showing that they now have a majority share in RHA Audio. Now we have seen sketches of both over-ear headphones and in-ear headphones, so right now it's a little bit unclear which version they're working on or if they're working on both perhaps. Of course, it is all speculation at the moment, but this new acquisition does seem to support the idea that Sonos are working with experts to launch their own headphones to accompany their collection of multi-room speakers. From our point of view, we've got everything crossed that Sonos will be bringing out headphones and we may not even need to wait that long as Sonos have committed to releasing two new products each year. And so far, we've only seen the new Sonos Roam as a brand new product if we count the Beam Gen 2 as an upgrade and not a new product release. That might of course be wishful thinking on my part though. Now, I know you're all gonna have a million questions about how Sonos headphones would work, and so do I, so watch this space. Another rumor that I want to chat about is a potential new Bluetooth speaker from Sonos and IKEA. Again, we've got another FCC filing, which seems to suggest that there are plans for a new mushroom-shaped Bluetooth speaker under the name IKEA Vapabi, and I probably pronounced that completely wrong, so apologies to our Swedish viewers. Now there's no info on a price or a date of when this speaker will be launched yet, but we have got a bit of info from the filing to share with you. First of all, there's an image which shows that this speaker will be mushroom shaped, and more notably have a dedicated Spotify tap button, which seems to be a first for Bluetooth speakers. It'll essentially let you carry on playing from wherever you were last listening, or if you tap the button again, listen to music that's recommended just for you. Other notable features are an IP65 rating, which means that it can resist dust, rain, and low pressure jets of water, and interestingly, a lamp, which can illuminate your space when you're in the dark. Let us know if you'd be interested in us reviewing this speaker if it does come to market. I'm personally interested in giving it a test and seeing how well that Spotify tap button works, and I just love the idea of a lamp in a Bluetooth speaker, I don't know why. 
Okay, so on to some new releases then, starting with Bowers & Wilkins. Now, six years after the last regeneration of the Zeppelin, B&W are back with a brand new iteration. The original Zeppelin caused a massive stir in the AV market when it launched back in 2007 as the first premium speaker to incorporate an iPod dock. That, along with its unique look, made it a truly iconic product for Bowers & Wilkins and it has since been updated several times over the years. This latest update brings a very similar, now classic design, but adds some new upgrades and features. The new Zeppelin has ditched all wired connections in favour of wireless control, as well as adding a new LED strip light, being controllable on the Bowers & Wilkins Music app and some more useful features, but it does come at a price tag of 699 can it compete in what has become a very crowded market and take back its crown? Well, you'll be happy to hear that we have got one in our studio this week and are in the middle of reviewing it. So keep your eyes peeled on our channel very soon for a full review. It's going to be an interesting one, that's for sure. Next up, we're going to take a look at Apple, who, amongst a variety of other new product launches, recently launched the AirPods 3. Now, we reviewed these last week. Video is live on our channel if you want to check it out. But wow, were we impressed. The new AirPods 3 are a huge upgrade on the previous model of AirPods and honestly pushing very close to the AirPods Pro. Yes, they don't have noise cancellation, but they do offer a very impressive sound performance along with support for spatial audio and Dolby Atmos, an improved battery life of six hours and a new earbud design. Good for those who aren't a fan of those silicon tips. Now we have gone into a lot of depth of how these compare with the previous model uh, and AirPods Pro, so go check that out, but I can see these being a very popular Christmas gift this year. Now in line with our addition of gaming products to our website, we'll be keeping you updated in the gaming industry in these news videos too. So a couple of things to mention is the new Nintendo Switch OLED, which adds an OLED screen to their already smash hit Nintendo Switch portable console. Now this comes with many advantages, but at a higher price point. So you may be considering whether it's worth saving the cash with the standard Switch. And rather conveniently, we already have a comparison between the Switch and the Switch OLED over on our uh, gaming YouTube channel now. So go check that out. A few of us in the office are also really excited for the upcoming release of Call of Duty Vanguard, which is coming out on the 5th of November, which sees some amazing battles in Europe's eastern and western fronts, North Africa and the Pacific. You'll get 20 maps to explore on release day, and also I love the addition of more destructible items. So for example, being behind cover isn't always safe anymore. Pre-orders or orders are already live on our website, so if you'd like to get yours for release day or as soon as possible, Follow the link below and we'd love to supply a copy for you. So it seems everyone has been uh, pretty busy lately and there's also been a lot going on in the SHS office too. So as you know, we recently launched our gaming section with consoles, games and accessories from PlayStation, Nintendo and Xbox. If you've not subscribed to our gaming channel and you're interested in more content on gaming, then make sure you head over and check that out. As I mentioned, we've got a review of the Switch OLED for you over there and more great content on the way. Now we have also added some great new brands to our website recently. So we were really impressed with a brand called Mountson uh, and they offer a wide range of bespoke accessories for Sonos products. And we've been really impressed with their quality and affordable price point. All products are live on our site now for you to have a look at if you need to customize your Sonos system in any way from wall mounts to floor stands to docks and much more. We have also partnered with Audio Pro and they're a Scandinavian range of wireless speakers who have already received the coveted award of the Watt Hi-Fi's 2021 best home wireless speaker between £100 and £250 for the add-on C3. Now we will also be stocking the C5, the C10 and the T3 Plus. Uh, now, these speakers offer battery-powered Bluetooth options, multi-room options, and ones with Amazon Alexa voice control. Their design is a traditional Scandinavian minimalistic style, which has split the office, but I personally love it, and it will fit a contemporary home, which can be blended into the environment. So we will be doing some more reviews of these in future videos, but for now, we will say we were very impressed with these overall. <music> One thing we are really excited about this month is the run up to Black Friday, as I'm sure you will be too, which will be happening on Friday the 26th of November with Cyber Monday being the 29th. Although going by previous years, I'm sure we'll see some deals going live earlier in the month, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. 
Um, this Black Friday seems like it will be an interesting one with brands having struggled with stock levels over the last few weeks and months as a result of the chip shortage. Now, a big example of that is the new Sony HT A7000 surround system, which I keep hearing great things about and something you guys want to know more about. Uh, don't worry though, we are trying our very best to uh, secure stock for you, but it may be a little longer to wait before we see it yet. One thing for sure is that stock for all brands is bound to be in high demand, so you may need to act a little bit more quickly this year to secure your stock when the deals go live. Rest assured, we will be sharing all the best deals with you guys as they go live over the Black Friday weekend, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. And if you do want to be notified of all the Black Friday deals, then sign up to our newsletter, which I will link below for you. Let me know in the comments what products you've got your eyes on this uh, Black Friday. Are you after a new TV, a new soundbar, games console? Let me know. So let's round up this month's news episode with some music news. So as you may already be aware, Ed Sheeran dropped his new album, Equals, and in a recent interview stated that this has been his most grown-up album to date, where he feels most like an adult. Obviously, it features two of his most popular singles, Bad Habits and Shivers, but there's also some hidden gems in there as well, so definitely worth a listen. And if you couple that with Adele's new release, Easy On Me, I feel like I'm back in 2011, which I can't decide if I love or hate. If you're more into your electronic music, Bonobo also announced his new upcoming album, Fragments, which is due early next year. Now, I've been a long-term fan of Bonobo, and personally, I don't feel like he fits any genre of music. The closest I can get to describing it is experimental electronic, which makes him probably one of the most unique artists that I've come across, in my opinion. A couple of tracks from it are already available to be listened to now, so definitely check that out. And finally, also in the electronic genre, we've seen Lay Nate announce his new album, Reviver, which is also coming January next year. His famous playlist, This Never Happened, is titled such because he encourages his fans not to record his concerts and be in the moment. Now this is something I can very much get behind and I wish more artists would encourage this philosophy. So that's it for this month. Lots of exciting things going on and to look forward to and we can't wait to tell you more as and when it happens. Remember to check the links in the description below for a roundup of everything that I've mentioned in this video and do consider subscribing if you want to catch us in our next videos in the lead up to Black Friday and Christmas. Hope to see you there and thanks again for watching.